Marcia was only two years old when war broke out. She was very frightened when the air raid siren went off and used to hide under the table. During the war, food was in very short supply, but Marcia never had to go hungry. Sometimes her grandmother would manage to buy some of the sheep's head from the butcher and she would boil the sheep's head and take out all the tongue and brains. Then she would cut all the meat off the sheep's head. The dogs got the bones and skull. Nothing was wasted. If Marcia was a good girl, her grandmother would give her some of the tongue to eat. And if she was a really good girl, she could have some of the brains. Her grandfather had a bad heart and could not work, so they could only afford to buy the cheap meat like sheep's head or pig's head. It was really rare for Marcia to get a banana. This is because the German submarines would sink the ship so bananas couldn't be brought over from other countries. Marcia did not get sweets very often because they were on ration. Her mother had a ration book which she took to the shop and then the shopkeeper would cut out the coupons and exchange them for the sweets. If you wanted to buy butter or cheese, the butcher would cut it off a slab. Sugar was weighed and put into blue bags. Marcia didn't get new clothes very often, only one outfit a year. One day, Marcia had been to her grandmother's with her brother and sister to show off their new clothes. All the children were expected to look after young ones, but on the way home, there was her sister, then her brother fell into a tar pit. Marcia got them out, but all of them had tar over their new clothes, and when they got home, Marcia's mother was very angry, so Marcia ran off to her other grandmother's house. Her grandmother used all her butter and lard rations trying to get the tar off. Marcia's parents kept chickens in a shed in the garden, and because they had their own chickens, they weren't allowed to buy any eggs from the shop. But sometimes their own chickens didn't lay any eggs, so her dad would collect. The chicken had to go in a tin bath, and then they put all the feathers in the tin bath, instead of them going in the food. Then they had chicken for dinner. Marcia doesn't think we would like to eat the stuff that she had to eat, but we would have to to stay alive.